Hello, everyone. Welcome to ESL TV for the EPS Germany Summer 2014 Playoffs. We have some exciting games coming your way in just a few. But first, I'm Jason Kaplan, joined by, of course, the lovely, the fantastic, the ever so amazing at CS when she streams. Pansy, how are you doing today? Um, can you, can you it's 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 up. It's up. I can't hear you. It's up. Oh. Yeah, this. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh so oh. I had you off. Um, oh, Because wow. I, I want to spotlight, actually. Wow, um, wow Jason. Uh, yeah, I was good. I was excited for CS, and then that happened. I'm not sure how I feel I now. I think we should be a little bit more excited, though, because I'm actually looking at the game right it now. It looks like it's live it in the game. It looks like it might be live, because we are, of course, running behind uh, the actual stream. Okay, this yeah. is going to be really loud, probably. Nailed it. Not bad. Um, because we're a little bit behind, just just because of the, the monster of what we're going through. Obviously, we're kind of the English stream here. Mm -hmm. I was going to pop it straight in the game here. Um, and we're going to have, of course, the first game, Planet Kid Dynamics going to get up against MTW, the reigning champions from last season as they were under the tag Wildfire. Um, I, I don't know. I think, to me, MTW is probably the, the team to look out for, probably the team to be the favorites in this one. But you, you say that, and I, I would tend to agree. People at home seem to be backing PKD in this one. Um, the votes support it. Um, and then again, yeah, there's a lot of criticism of certain players uh, <laughs> towards these lineups. Maybe that's part of it, but still, I, I genuinely believe that there's a lot of talent, especially on the MTW side. I'm looking at them to do well here. They have some great individual players. You look at NKJ, Crowdhump, and all big players in this one. Sorry, uh, what was the great name, one? great name. Um, but still, we are in the second round. First round was picked up by Planet Key Dynamics on the CT side, but we are seeing the PT50s back in play. The update seems Thank to have God. made its uh, impact. Thank God. I was so tired of seeing CZs bought <laughs> every day, single every round and getting wrecked uh, by them. But yeah, PG50 is obviously the change coming into this one. Uh, we do have, of course, on the terrorist side, MTW starting to push up Catwalk a little bit. And you know, we think about a lot of MTW. They are missing, though, one player, uh, which we should point out. Asmo is unfortunately not el uh, eligible to play Yeah. Uh, since he changed teams a little bit too late right there. So Steez, the man's actually be stepping in for them. He's the guy that's... Uh, going to be trying to hopefully carry the position uh, he was running for them. But then you have Mantis, MNL, NK, just so many well-known names within the German scene alone. But yeah. right now, PKD, they are uh, in the lead, 1-0. Bomb hasn't planted, and it's 3-on-3 three three here. Yeah, not bad start. And COI is making his way up from short. Going to try and spam away with the fam. It's not going to find much. But next will come in. But MNL was down to nothing, and they will be able to get that defuse. But not bad regardless. They got a good couple of kills for the T side. They got the bomb planted, and I think it was worth for the PT-50 buy up. Yeah, I mean, whenever you get the bomb plan, it's always a good thing. So we're now, we're going to mm -hmm. expect maybe a buy-up here from MTW, obviously trying to get back in this one. And I want to point out one thing, is the fact uh, of Trubly. I mean, he's a name mm. you guys have known for a long time. Uh, Mouse Sports, actually probably the most winningest, if that's even a word, winning team. List. Most winningest team in, Close uh, enough. in, Ger <laughs> in German CS, I, I believe, in the EPS series. Yeah. And he's obviously was on, that, or on their team. He's been you know switching around quite a bit here, but finally settling in at his new home. And I'm really curious to see how he's going to do, because he's always been a fantastic player. But how he's going to mesh with this lineup, uh, obviously, will be uh, told very soon. We'll find out very, very soon. Uh, and as, as you predicted, we are seeing the buy up into the third round. MTW getting a good couple of kills, getting the bomb down. Just creating their viability to get the early buy going. And we, we know that generally Germans on Dust 2 are pretty damn strong. You only need to look towards maybe the likes of Mouse Sports, who've... Uh, taking that on board, maybe just Chris J if you really want to break it down, but still, it does look as though T side on MDW are heading maybe towards uh, A. They have got a foothold towards uh, short, but still, it's it's still early in the map, but they might be going for the execution. It worked out on the second round with just pistols. Why not give it a go with some proper weaponry? Yeah, well, if I don't hear, and of course, CLI going to be continuing to hold this long A. Eh? Um, you can see Crowder on your screen trying to push up Catwalk here, looking for that initial pick, which unfortunately, Cyrus will be there to receive. And of course, smokes, flashes, all coming in. Let's see how this push actually goes down here. Stavros can be watching, watching from CT. Ramp here does spot out MNL. Doesn't get the kill though. He's getting rushed from Ramp here. Mantis picks up the kill. And now COI from Catwalk here trying to hold on to this, but Crowder picks up a kill on himself. Not on himself, on someone else. But now it's a three on three here. And again, MTW getting the bomb plant two rounds in a row. And there's a push coming up middle here. Right on the Catwalk. Onto the boxes and X. Well, we'll pick up the kill here. And now it's a one on two. And I'm in the last man alive. Not sure how well he's going to do, but he can't always put off with the AK here. Going to be missing a couple of shots. Gets taken down, though, from long A. And 3-0 here for PKD. Great start. Yeah, and uh, it is a BO3 for you guys wondering. Best of three all the way through. We're starting in the semi-finals, basically, if they want to look at it that way. Um, so two semis and a grand final, obviously. And, well, three rounds back-to-back -back there for Panicky Dynamics. Brilliant start for the CT side. Fairly comfortable beginning, and to be fair... Tripoli not really getting into the game yet, and yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what he can bring a little later on once the dust settles. Um, and MTW, 
they, they've done well so far. They've been making it to the sites. It's just been coming down to the retakes. They've just not been able to hold. They will be continuing, however, getting those Galils on the buy with a couple of AKs in there, a bit of head armor, and just seeing what they can do. We, we've constantly seen them work, you know, the mid to A play. Nothing too spectacular, nothing different, nothing new, but it, it works if they get that execution down. And it looks like they might be trying it again. Mantis there, just getting himself up towards short. And it does look like Planet Key Dynamics are happy to play this one a little further back, not necessarily challenging up on short, just playing from the site itself, leaving one down um, by pit, and that'll be Stavros on site, CLY in pit. And just waiting out for MTW to actually make their move. I like a little uh, advertise in there for you, for Tweet Day. And then Manel's gun and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, as you can say, I mean, they're, they're content just holding this one very slow, eventually pushing out when they have time. And, well, smoke up CT spawn work in towards this B side here. And of course, you can see they're flashed up. They're having a hard time of really penetrating just yet here, but Strax picks up the first kill. Yeah, moving in towards the side. NKJ doing some good work there. And they've actually taken over on the B side, but can they cross with that bomb? We've got Trubly coming in. 10 HP, pretty damn low. And COI and Stavros are no closer to this. So a 3v3 after plant now. MTW fairly well set up. In good shape as well, 92 HP on NKJ, but that's not a big worry. But Steve, under a little bit of pressure from B-Tunnel, CLY will pick up where Trubly left off. Steve retracting back into sight, using the smoke, and just buying time here. And I think Planet Key Dynamics have seen that time limit hit. They're not fancying it. Although Stavros still trying it out, I think he's going to back away. 19 HP, first round on the board there for MTW. Finally, a little bit of weight off their shoulders as well. I mean, yeah, you kind of expect to lose three straight, but when you get two bomb plants in a row, you might be expected to be able to pick up uh, a round there at least. But you see NKJ, let's at least pick up Stavros. But yep. CLY and Trubly both escaped with their guns, AK in the hands of CLY. And the only thing I like to see on the side of uh, Planet Q so far is the fact that everyone's doing fairly decent. Everyone has some kills. You know, it's not just one guy who's really stepping up. It's not Chris J who's leading the team with like 20 frags. It's not Shox who obviously has ridiculous uh, KDA back at SL1 Cologne. But everyone's doing well here. And obviously the money, Kind of iffy here between both teams. But we're going to find out what's going to go uh, go down a little bit differently this time. And again, you know, you called it, I think, two rounds ago. They're just sticking with, the, you know, work some spots, maybe look for a pick or two, and then eventually go for your strategy and maybe push middle or towards catwalk after. Yeah, and, and I actually like the way that MTW used that rotate towards B. They uh, they did get short fairly under control. They've been hitting A pretty well, but they actually fancy just hitting up that B site. So I, I enjoy the, the, the adaption coming out, and we can see the smokes and flashes through mid, and I think Trubly's going to be under pressure soon. The man that we highlighted at the start does start getting the kills, and Crowder does go down to him. So first kill in favor to Planet Key Dynamics. They've stopped the mid play. And let's see if they can hold on to the rest of the round. I can see right now PKD, though. They're sitting on... Quite a fair bit of uh, flashes here, sitting at about seven currently. Actually, no, wow, even more than that, nine. So it looks like they will be going for the penetrate here just soon, uh, very soon, maybe onto this catwalk, maybe on the middle. They still have a smoke to work with towards CT spawn if they do want to. You can see Mantis has already pushed out there as well here, but Eminel, he gets smoked out. And you see, Planet Q, enough flashes to hold them back for quite a while, but 35 seconds to go. Looks like the push will come in towards this A oh, side here. He's got a nice flash. Let's see if they come in and well, he's sitting in Goose. Stavros picks up a kill with the PT50. Gonna be getting a little bit of support from Charlie. Picks up one, picks up number two as well, and Stavros coming up big with the uh, the second kill as well. <laughs> that was a fantastic hold. Yeah, and Trubly's play then was brilliant. He read the play well. He started in obviously CT. You saw him picking up the first to stop the push through onto Krauter. Fell back towards site, sat by Goose, if you want to call it that, and then just flashed up and over and popped. So it was actually really impressive play then, all in all, from him. I did like it. I think we need to just adjust a couple of the settings, so do not fear. Yeah, I'm turning Netgraph off because you guys don't <laughs> just see that. And no one likes Netgraph, but right. I, I, as I was saying, oh, like, uh, truly, get rid of that too. pretty <laughs> damn good so far. The pop flash off the wall just to really uh, hit it home. And let's bear in mind, uh, I think Stavros was just playing with the PT-50, so him getting the kill, also very important. Yeah, they're sorting the power of that gun here. As you can see, you know, PT-50 is Deagle here, there, here for Crouch Hump, and this one well, had one as he does get taken down here, but MTW going for the save. Down 4 1 here so far, and Steve has made his way into the B side here, but can he pick up the kill on the next with only the Glock? And down down about 45 HP, but Strux not coming in, and that will be the final frag. And that will be now a 5 1 lead here for Planet Key Dynamics. And honestly, they, they definitely showed up here to play today. Yeah, they, they, they've got a good start to this one, and it's, it's going to be wonders for them. You always want to do well in the first game, even if it's just the first three or four rounds, um, obviously including the gun round, but just for confidence alone to feel good in a new setup. They've just come into the studios. I saw them practicing a little earlier on, but you always want to have that smoother start. Otherwise, you feel a little off pace. You start blaming external factors. I'm hoping that uh, MGW keep focusing this. It looks like they're going for just a P250 round. It did work out quite well before, but uh, I'm not sure if you can compare the P250's power to maybe the CZ's just yet. We haven't had the time to 
see it really coming back to play, but it does seem so MTW have got themselves through with, with that nice CT smoke and trying to make that final push, but I think they've been met by a lot of gunfire and very little kills in their favor. So now just D left alive, and I don't think he's going to get much. If he could get away with a gun, maybe if he took down Strux or Nex, it'd be brilliant, but one minute to do so, and he's being hunted down by CLY, and the kill will come in. Six to one, Planet Key Dynamics looking pretty damn solid so far. I think we can put it that way. They've come in looking like they've done their homework, yeah. and they're playing to it. MTW, I think they need a little more warm-up. Uh, it just feels like they're not quite there yet. They're not quite you know, hitting the shots on the site. They're not completely you know, landing the executions just yet. But give them maybe another round or two, and you might see them warming up. But still, they need these rounds now. Even though it's a best of three, you want to start building them early. They are back on a bye now. And you know, I really wonder the pressure going through uh, Steve's head because Again, I, you know, I talked to Asma before, he said, you know, we're feeling pretty confident about being able to win this. Um, but Steve's always been kind of like a backup for him. He's always been a sub. He's never been, you know, mainly on the team to really kind of practice with them a, a substantial amount. And obviously he has a lot of weight on his shoulders here, but I want to see him step up a little bit. He's not doing terribly. I mean, he's, he's sitting about midway through with his team 3-7 and seven currently. But again, it just seems like MTW are just running up against a brick wall. They keep trying to execute their strategies. Yeah, they might get the bomb down. But then they get retaken very, very quickly and... Next setup, nice little spot here towards B. You can see MTW is going to start to push in towards the uh, site here. Going to actually flash them out, try to keep them back. I'm crowd to hump, and I'm, I'm waiting to see him do something with this op. He's going glass cannon style, so very play. Oh, well, that'll be the first kill coming in for Steve. He will secure that one. Now next, trying to do something, trying to stop them from actually getting into site. But as you can see, it smoked out completely. Bomb getting put down. And now a five on four situation here. And of course, you have a couple people working through tunnel trouble. You're going to be sneaking in through there. But you're going to have one man, NKJ, watching the, uh, the flank from coming in. He's going to actually get taken down right away. Did not expect that. And now MNL trying to hold this in the middle of a smoke. Stavros making his way in. Picks up a kill. And he's walking, uh, watching in through uh, tunnels here. And now it's all in the hands of Croucher Hump. And ooh, eventually gets taken down as well. Next, picking up two frags. Three frags, sorry. Again, looks... What? What happened? Oh, no. No, no, no. They got it. They got it. Oh, that was... I was going to say, what the hell was that? No one went for the defuse. But again, 7 1. Yeah, Nex and Stavros then pretty much just won the round between them. Everyone else was just cannon fodder, but. Uh, shaky stuff from MTW. They just didn't hold the plan. They had the sight, they had the numbers. And they just kind of let it slip. Um, not, not much more than you could say to that, but still. Into the ninth round, let's see if maybe there's something they can bring here. NKJ. Forced just to be with the Galil. Not pretty, probably the ideal flashes and smokes just yet, but it looks like a B rush coming in. They're going to be heading in straight towards PKD on that B site. Mantis does find next this time. Nice follow up for Stee as well. This has gone substantially better. They've got full access to the site, bombed down every single player up, and minimal damage received. So they should be able to set this one up well. They should be able to hold it, and I'd be surprised if Stavros and Trubly uh, get even a kill in this one. Maybe just save their guns. They should have a lot of money to actually spend. Their economy looking uh, fairly strong here, but probably maybe try to work in through uh, through tunnels. Let's see, we'll just smoke it out. Maybe force them actually out double doors. Where of course Stavros is already waiting for them. We'll spot them crossing right across. And of course he won't hit the shots. And now he obviously can be pushed here. Flash is gonna be coming. Trouble gonna be sneaking in from the side as well, getting flashed out by his own teammate. But he's looking for a couple kills. Picks up one. And that's all she wrote here. And that will be now a 7-2 scoreline. Finally, MTW responding. Finally picking up a round. You have to ask, how long is this going to keep up? Are they still going to be able to pick up a third round here? Because if they lose this one, then they're going to be hurting on money again. If I'm Any not mistaken, both rounds they've won is when they've kind of done that B rush, yeah. pretty much. Um, eco or buy up. So I want to see them actually nail the execution towards A. No shots will be landing for Crowder this time. When they you know, when they go for that mid, maybe just, you know, through short or on long execution towards the A side, I'd love to see them do that. But Stavros this time, getting a little more aggressive on short as well, and he could actually pick up a good couple of kills here if he plays this right. Mantis does get spotted, but Mantis just throws him to the ground, and that's the start they needed. But will they expect Trubly this close now? I can imagine the nade will give away the game a little, but still. Trubly generally is playing perfectly by pace. Last time he fell back quite passively towards the site, and this time CLY now has to hold long. He's not going to be able to do so, so long is now open. Trubly can't play safe anywhere now. He's going to have to go for the challenge. He gets shut down by Crowter, and now four against two. It's going to be a tough one to pull off here, and Crowter landing these shots finally is going to make it even worse. I think next, no, that. Well, it's going to be one on three here, but look at the HP currently still on MTW side. 43 for Steve, 22 for Crowder, and 30 for Mantis. It is possible to pull this one back, but next has to play this one slow. Has to play this one cautiously here. Well, he 
He will spot out Mantis on ramp. We'll get the headshot as well. That's a one on two now. And X could pull this one back. Steve gonna be still on ramp here, maybe looking out for him. Karate getting a nice flash in, trying to buy some time, but he gets the bomb down on Next and a one on one picks up the kill. And in a one on three situation, picks up all three, secures the round, and wins Planet Key their eighth round here of this first half. If I was MTW, I'd be kicking myself after that. It's, it's infuriating to watch them do this. They get so close and now they're back onto having no money to really do much. And what we see a CZ, a Deagle, a couple of P250s, no armor, one flash. And, and a smoke. Is it a stat track, Deagle? I don't know. MTW, I it's, it, it kind of feels bad because MTW are such a good team. Or, or some very good individuals, should I say. But they're just not kind of playing to that right now. And the Deagle's not going to land. And Trubly just can enjoy padding his uh, scoreline right now with a couple of eco frags. But 9-2, to two, it's not looking good here on this map. Dust 2, I find, is almost an outlier when it comes to German teams because they're all so strong on it. Yeah, I, I think back to uh, Party Daddlers, or now known yeah. as Mouse Sports, uh, a fantastic team. And that's where we first really saw them do well, challenging Copenhagen Wolves back in the uh, EMS 1 raid call. I think it was sp spring season. It was like the second season, whichever one that was. But again, I don't know who chose this map. That's the downside. We don't actually know who chose Let's this one. Let's hope it's Planet Key Dynamics That's for what MTW's I'm expecting. sake. <laughs> yeah. Still, we do see Crowder back with the orb this time. He did do brilliantly in the round. They almost picked up. This time, though, shut down straight away by Trubly, just dominating those mid doors. And he looks like he wants more. Not going to get it. Mantis does land the shot. Who's doing pretty damn well for MTW, but they need to convert it into round wins because Nex is just stopping them as soon as they get towards that B site. He's just been playing on point 16 to 2. Let's just keep that in mind here. He's been a bit of a one-man army. And now NKJ 1v2. Stavros fairly low. Next lower, but can't make it through mid. And the bomb was dropped in a dire place. But still, that scoreline is not pretty for any MTW fan. It seems like... It seems like they have a plan for their initial push of like where they want to go. But like even if they get a kill or they die, they don't have that next step in mind of like, okay, well now where do we go? Well now what do we do? Kind of thing. I mean, yeah, they can get a kill middle, but then they can't transition it into anything. Uh, and they've been struggling a little bit here, but it looks like they might go for a little bit of a push towards long A. They've been fairly quiet towards this uh, the side. And again, P250, CZs, nades raining in all over them. Maybe a little bit tough to do much here. And you can see Mantis getting sprayed through the door. Goes down to CLY with the last bullet. And again, if you're MTW right now, you got to be looking towards, obviously, the next map, which would be Nuke. Funny enough, you typically don't see that. But then, of course, in the map pool, we do have Season, we do have Train, yeah. we do have Cash. So obviously a lot of maps that uh, teams may not want to play. But I would love to see some Season. Actually, Season is probably one of my one of my favorite maps, actually. I, I tend to agree. Um, it's pretty damn good. At least it's not Cobble or, or Overpass. I don't mind them either. Like, <laughs> the updates on Cobble have been pretty damn yeah, good. Yeah, they have. Like, I actually enjoyed the map a little more now. I've dropped down and changed the rolling in there, but still. Uh, easy pick up for him. Uh, <laughs> Planet Key Dynamics wants to say MTW, silly me. But uh, Steve does go down. And I think MTW knows this half's over in every way, shape, or form. And it's just, you know, let's look about this, the next half and hope, pretty much, and maybe discuss the next couple of maps coming up. Because as much as when you talk to teams and they say it's round by round, this scoreline on the first half, I, I think a mental game is more than anything. But we are going to see the all-in B play. This is the only time they've actually picked up rounds. Well, let's see if it plays up again. Crowder Hump in the first in. Maybe a bit of the meat shield coming through. But he's going to make it count, at least taking down the first. Strux will fall. I'm not sure if he gets the follow-up just yet. Next did stay alive some time, but he will fall, but he allowed time for Trubly to get a little closer. Trubly finds NKJ, waiting on the flash, goes to the peak, flash over the top, he does come in, he gets it, MNL down! My god, he almost had that, but Mantis stands tall, Crowder back in the mix, now 3v1, CLY. Surely not gonna happen here, surely not, he's got the first. 4 HP clutch though. Um, not yet to go down here. Oh, he got caught in the smoke. So, finally, MTW pick up another round. These B plays are working, but it's it's not pretty. That's not really the rounds you should count on to no. just straight rush uh, <laughs> or, in the German sense, Blitzkrieg a sight. It's a little bit weird, but uh, uh, obviously, the little flash we actually had coming for Trubly, walking him backwards, was very well timed, very well placed. It was really beautiful to see. Fortune was only able to pick up one, but either way, 11 3, even if you go to 11, you know, 11 4 scoreline, you should be pretty happy with that on that CT side. And well, we're going to find out if. I think he can take their 12th round here this first half. Remember, they have a lot of money, so they can buy out everything they possibly need here. Stavros even playing Catwalk with an AWP. And we'll have Mantis actually coming around the corner here. Yeah, easy shot for him. Picks up the first frag, backs away. And that does give him that man advantage here in this 15th round. Oh, push coming in actually towards long A here. See why picks up the first kill, though. 
You can see NKJ looking for uh, another frag to turn back onto him, but CY picks him up. It'll be a one for one trade here. Now the last man standing, Crouch are humping. I always love saying his name. And a one on four. I'm not sure if he can pull this one off. I tend to agree All with those you. Those peaks. <laughs> See how I just going in deep. All right, so 12-3 first half here scoreline. Remember, it's a best of three. So even if uh, obviously MTW do lose on this first map, they'll still have uh, Nuke and Mirage to come back from. <laughs> Troubling. He's he's not just ready. He's ready, son. <laughs> that's that's how ready he is. So damn ready. But yeah, this, I, I well, this can be pretty much over in a pistol round. So mm. let's let let's really take it for what it is here. Planet Key Dynamics. It's their game to lose, pretty much. If they. It, they would have to make so many mistakes to even get close to losing this. So, for me, it's it's just how much can MTW now warm up? What can they do now in the next couple of rounds, maybe to get ready for that next map? CL White, oh, a little cheeky on the cross there. Does get a little bit of a tag back, though. So, it's easy in play, but it has allowed the likes of Planty Geek Dynamics to get a little closer in those low B tunnels. They might actually go for the push through. Not going to get much, though. Damage mostly going in towards the T side here. The three man stack through the double doors. Not quite paying off just yet in kills. And look at Long. We've got the little bit of a stack coming up. A little bit of a push starting to form. And there's no one locking down Long. With that mid stack in play, they don't have anyone there. They might be able to watch the cross, but does the T side have a smoke? They do. So next can smoke the cross. They can get on the A site. They could probably get the bomb down. And there comes that smoke. Crowder tries to get back into this one. Gets close as possible without being spotted. But PKD, they pretty much crossed already. They are there. The bomb yet to go down. Players on short, but you can see the new adaptions to the site. A bigger area to play with. They can just take their time a little more, lock it out, and get the bomb down. Crowder trying to embrace the Kelly, but not going to happen as MNL will find True Blue. Can the T-side hold on here? Crowder dying to make this shot. He's been dancing with them the whole time. But here comes the counter push over short. Three players moving in. Crowder humping through CT spawn and it's going to be a nice little clean up for MVW here, just struck alive. And I don't think he's going to get much with that lovely block. Yeah, one at least, but he won't obviously stop the bomb defuse and great little retake coming out of MTW. So obviously not losing out on the pistol round, does give him a little bit of life here, but again, to have to take, you know, eight rounds back to back pretty much to tie things up is going to be very, very dangerous. And if you lose one of these gun rounds, then you're going to be in a, a really tough spot here. But PKD playing it safe. Looks like they're not going to actually go for a uh, cheeky buy up here in round two at all. And they will just stick with the P250s. No head armor, but they will have one flash in the hands of Strux. So it looks like he will flash him out at long A. And as you can see, they're going to have a couple people receive this one. Man just picks up the first two. Looking for maybe a third here as he also has one more man to his side. And uh, we're going to have a fast round here. PKD just getting completely shut down. Yeah. Steve picking up two. Man just picking up two. And Crouter getting the last one. So 12 5. It is possible to come back for this. We've oh, seen bigger you. comebacks. I mean, it's, think it's of true. Titan and Cloud9. But this is what I wanted to see. Whether they went in for a slightly uh, risky move and they actually play this one out properly. Planky Dynamics could do some real damage now. I, I just want to see how they play on the T side in, in real rounds. You know, obviously, mm -hmm. the pistols, they have their own strats. They're a little more generic on. But I want to see how they play it out now. Will they go for that same mid play? Work the double doors and then maybe split up short. We do see the purchase of the orb still with Crow to Humpen. So he could maybe catch a couple. But obviously the smoke we play down, or will it go for that deep smoke towards CT? All these options available for Planet Key Dynamics, and so far they have got a man up on short now. Two actually playing on long, so you can see the slight difference between MTW and PKD, the way they're playing A, and it looks like the rotate's coming across. Crowter is coming around towards maybe playing at cars or just down by long, but the bomb not yet to commit anywhere. They're still at the double doors. They just put one player on short, and you can see the response. CL White. There's that deep smoke coming in towards CT, and it's going to be MNL to receive. He's going to be making the call saying, guys, I need help on B. There's two players on the CT side holding this one down. CLY will find MNL. Crowd humping, though, from CT. Comes in with the all play. NKJ locking down Stavros. And this is just making the push even harder. It's gone from bad to worse. Now, next, Strux and Trubly. They're surrounded. They're not getting the bomb down just yet. No, not yet. Three players, though. CT spawn. Working through by the double doors. Bomb. Just about going down. The next going in for a cheeky shot. Beautiful play on towards Mantis. He's got 29 HP to work with, and now he's going to allow Strux to get into a little bit of a interesting spot here. Crowd time going to be challenged and sticking with the AWP in this retake. This could be a mistake. Steen now 1v2. They've locked this one out. These two have just clutched hard if they can oh. lock this down. Nice nade, though. And now Steen 1v1. Bomb ticking away. He's got very little time, very little health, and he doesn't get it either. Strux locks it out. Planet Key Dynamics. 
just secure the round, but you've got to think. MTW, how the hell did you just lose that? I'm not sure, and uh, maybe a couple of really great shots coming in. I mean, you have to give credit to Nex. You know, really great position as he's, you know, cheek, uh, peeking out, gets that little cheeky kill like you pointed out. Gave him a two-on-two -two advantage right there, or a two-on-two -two, uh, situation. But again, the you know, MTW lost an op. Yeah, it was. So yeah, it was. sloppy. They lost an op now as well. Like, that was a lot of money to invest into that round to not secure it. And as you can see, Crouch are just sitting on a deagle only, unfortunately, and just regular body armor. Spots and needs coming in from lower. It'd be a nice little 1D coming on a CLY if he can pull that off. He's towards middle. And unfortunately, won't connect with anything. So, looks like he will just back away. With Stavros. Pushing towards Catwalk. Does he actually get flashed out by his teammate? So, he will back away. But now, PKD pushing towards this B site here. You can see Trouble leading the charge a little bit with that P250 again. And A is going to be raining on NK, who actually will stay alive for a little bit longer here. But, as you can see, Trouble not able to pick up a kill just yet here. CLY, though, with the AK up to the side. Enough to support Trouble, and they will smoke the cross, and this should be an easy plant coming in now. Should be. And yeah, maybe MTW will remember how to retake sites, you never know. But look at the player behind them. Uh, I think it's Stavros. He's still in mid. He could come around behind a lot of them and get these guys oh, down. No. He's in a good spot, but they're going to make their move for the retake. Well timed on their part, but here we go. MTW remembering how to retake B, but will they expect Stavros? I'm not sure if he can do the damage with just a P250, but 1v2. Krauter goes in for the challenge and doesn't cleanly get it. Going to push in. Oh, oh no, Stavros! No. What are you doing? And the defuse will come through, but it just seems like mistake after mistake in these B plays. Either MTW forget how to retake, or that just happens occasionally. But still, Planicky Dynamics leading by some margin, but MTW picking up rounds here and there. But still, it's not been a pretty game. I will say this though for MTW or for uh, MTW, that was so lucky by them to push into the site like that that quickly because Stavros, yeah. like you pointed out, was coming from behind, but right as he got around that corner to actually peek towards B, they were already into the site and he wasn't be, uh, able to do anything from that position. So, fortunately, kind of got shut down there. As you can see, MTW going to be buying up yet again and Planet Key will be going for a little bit of a save here. Looks like a little bit of a quick push towards Catwalk here. And as you can see on the screen, no one's even watching Catwalk right now. Counter's going to finally back away with the uh, M4. Let's see if you know anything about this. Mantis picks up one. They're not really connecting just yet here as he sees. Chipping away at them, but they're not down just yet here. They're trying to get the bomb planted. Looks like Shucks will be able to secure that. So we're going to get some money, some income from this. But now, can Panicky actually pull this off? I think they actually have the potential to. If they can pick up maybe one or two kills here towards Long A. Croucher picks up one, Strux respawns. And Croucher pushing up right on the CT ramp here. And that's a three on four here. And you can see Strux still alive in sight. We'll get tanked down eventually. Now, see why the last man's standing. Not really in the best of positions. I'm not sure he's going to be able to do too much about this. Getting smoked out there. That was actually a real interesting plant spot. Hmm. Bomb has been defused. Counter Alright, so 13 7. The comeback's real right now. MTW are closing the gap, and as we can see, you know, didn't have a good first half, but the second one, they're starting to, you know, 4 1 right now. <laughs> Crowd Humpen is just doing the damage. 16 to 16. It's not like the prettiest of KDAs. It's not pretty, no. But it's doing the job, and it's doing damn well for them. And they are going to be running with the double orb. Are they going to be peeking off short, or are they going to be just stacking out on site? So Mantis at long. Crowd Humpen just coming back to mid. So just, just enjoying the double orb factor. Let's see what they can do with it. Looking at this man to uh, really <laughs> pretty much make the difference. Uh, see how I smoking through mid. He knows there's going to be a player there, and it's no surprise. He's going to drop out the nade, just try and catch him on the way up. An MTW. The, the thing I said is they'll get more dangerous oh, the more up. And <laughs> as you said, the boost there, allowing MNL to take down Stavros to just really uh, chip away at that short push if they were actually going to commit. Bomb is coming up towards short, so they might actually make an A play out of this. They still have one player at long as well, but there is that double up in play. Mantis, I think is still around as well. Yeah, so both orbs focused around A, one towards mid, one more focused on A, and let's see what Planet Key do now. They've got 48 seconds to try and make this one work. Truly does find Ste, so maybe that's opened up long enough for them to consider it, but there's still the double orb, but that's not going to be peeking up against Krauter. That's one rattle off. Doesn't get the shot, though, and they're still paranoid about short, but every single Planet Key Dynamics player is at long. Flashes, smokes, gonna come in for the cross and Mantis on site. Can he make this count? Gets the first, Trubly down, looks for the second, denied by Nex, and the push will continue. Planet Key not out of it just yet. Bomb is going down on site. Crowter daring to go through. You're not gonna get that shot. ESL1 seems to be uh, sticking with them here, but 
Let's see if they can lock this one down now. COI finds NKJ. Crowd hump and still going though. Finds next. Not going to make it past Struck. So and now it looks like the bomb is under scrutiny. MNL, can you do it? Yes, indeed he can. Does get on the side, gets three in the retake and plays it out well. Let me ask you something. But Panzer. still, that was not a smooth retake. <laughs> How many times is Planet Key going to get the site, get the bomb down, and then lose on a retake? Do, do we not remember MTW's retake on B? That was, that was one on. bad one. But no, MTW are looking better the more they play, the more they get used to it. They look a little more dangerous and... I don't know, it's it's, it's a close game all in all. Panky Dynamics still just need one good round and they'll be back to where they were pretty much. See Mantis trying to hold long A here as you can see. And next, he actually catches him out in a really bad position. He gets Mantis down to 8 HP, the nades can be raining in. Of course, they are long gone now and... You know, Planet Key, they're getting the bomb down. They're not really securing the rounds that they need just yet. And looks like they might go for a little bit of a catwalk push yet again. Croucher, though, this time, going to be watching it. Going to be looking for that first shot. He knows they're there. And he's probably just going to drop back towards CT. And actually, it flashed out. We'll miss the shot, unfortunately. And that will allow, uh, will allow sorry, Planet Key to start to push up catwalk if they do want to. But again, MTW, they're comfortable with, you know, sending two people towards long. Letting Croucher hold uh, catwalk by himself here. Now Planet Key going for the push over towards the B site here. NK going to be trying to hold on to this one. Picks up the first kill. Look for number two. Gets it. And you even go for the reload here. CY picks up his teammate though. And NK in a one on four. Picks up two more. And gets a total of three. Maths. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's, I, this is the last, this first time I casted CS in a long time. And as you can see, it's troubly. Pushing from multiple angles here. So this one's safe. This one's slow. He's going to stay alive, though. And well, Max, unfortunately, will not connect with the shot. So he's going to back away. I like this play out of him. Play it safe. Gets the bomb. And try to defend here. Nice little pop flash comes in. See why I can get the kill on a Mantis guy coming in from window. And I want to be Crowder. And he'll pick up the kill as well here. And Trubby actually is the one to secure that. Now it's a two on one. Stee all by himself. Picks up COI. Can he get the second one on Trubby? Can he secure this? He knows Hi. where he is. And he will get the kill. But can he get the defuse? And unfortunately, looks like it's a little bit too late. And MTW will secure their night. Or sorry, they won't secure the round. You know what, Pansy? How about you just cast the rest of this? All right, I'll, I'm, just, you, I'm just having just a rough spectate, time today. All right, you yeah. just spectate. I'll lock this down. I'm not even doing that well. <laughs> but still, 14 to 8, as you said. Round finally coming in there for the tease. Um, it's not pretty, though. Obviously, picking up a round after a lot of losses. Your, your money's not great right now, so you got, might have a couple of Galils. If we can check that real quick. Yeah. A couple of Galils there for Stavros, Nex, and Strux. And it looks like a long play. Steve and Mantis will be waiting. COI leading the way. Not going to land any initial shots, but Stavros will. Steve, though, P250 in hand. Find COI. Find Stavros. And the CT side just suiting MTW perfectly as Trubly. And next, going to go for the peak. Steve still getting the tag. Still getting frags. That's three this round. Can he make it four? He's in the right place. Can he land it? No, Trubly finally stops him, but... 3v4, look at the turnaround here for MDW. With just that P250, they did so much damage. Right now, you're being ballsy here. Let me take this one over. I'm just happy I haven't said gold yet um, so far, but Trubix will be sitting mid lane. Yeah, mid lane, exactly. MNL picks up another kill as well with the 5-7. <clears throat> and now, with just a save round, this Ikaron coming in from MTW. On the back of C, picking up three frags. They might be able to pull this one off here, but Trubby, 15 HP, try to push in. Flash is coming in as well, and he will be able to turn around, but only to his death here. NK picks up the kill, and now takes it 14 to 9 here. And, and look at this. Is it possible for MTW to pull this one back? It's. I, th I feel like both of these teams just have not had the strongest of T sides. Or, or maybe it's just their CT sides are so much stronger uh, than the opponent's T, but right now they're able to buy up here, and Haneke will be going for an eco. I just don't think we've seen that much full execution from Lanarkey Dynamics yet. It's been but very they, sketchy. Yeah, very we, rough. But we've got round, they've still got a couple of rounds to work with here. They're on 14 to 9. This is the first map in a best of three. This It's probably going, what, 14 to 10? They still have a couple to play with. Whereas MDW need this. They need to keep building up that confidence. And they must make sure they don't lose guns here. They have to lock this round out completely. Get a nice clean round in. And I think they'll be feeling fairly comfortable from it. But let's see if they can do so. Planet Key, couple by B. Mostly by mid, yet to really dedicate themselves, but nice nade from MNL, just landing at the feet of next, just keeping them at arm's length. And that is the danger of the P250 and the CZs. You know, if you if you get on a close range push, they can really do damage, as we saw it long, uh, not too long ago. Um, so you do have to be a little cautious, and you can see that in the posture of MTW, just being a little careful. But Stee, a little bit low, truly making his way in. He's Maybe notice there's a weaker player, and if he can buy time here, Trubly, he might be able to get COI to come around on the A platform. He just needs to stay alive, and the support may get here. Here we go. COI makes it there finally, but can't help much, and Trubly will fall. 
And I think this might be the clean round that MGW needed if they can find Stavros and deny the plant. And he's walking to his death. And that's going to be this go to NK. I think that one's going to happen here. So MTW not lose a single man. Build up a little bit of an economy here. Now 14-10. You look at you know PKD right now. Not a lot of money to spend. Looks like they might even have to go for another save here. And that's looking at like a 14-11 scoreline. Huh. And then if MTW, you know, obviously win the next one, the next gun run, I think will be another eco. They actually could have pulled this one back. They could. They, they certainly could. They're, they're a good team. I just wanted to see them get going. They were making just... It, it looked like they were just making small errors. It wasn't like it was completely going wrong, but CZ, still strong. God, that gun infuriates me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, okay. they, they're going to be able to pick up a gun off of this, it looks like. And we'll be in the hands of COI. Croucher picks up a kill on the catwalk on the next. And now Stavros trying to push in as well, but Steve backs him up. And that'll be the cross coming in trouble. Can we get the high ground here? Can he make any kills happen off of this? And well, Crouch trying to push in. Here's the bomb to plant it. And Trouble will pick up one here. Crouch is going to push in. We taken down by Strux. And now the potential comeback is real here. You see NK Emino, the last two standing. NK going to be working in through Catwalk here, nading into sight. Trouble will get the kill on the Strux. And Trouble will get one. Can he get the second on NK? We'll spot him out. Won't get the, t uh, the frag, though. And that is going to be somehow MTW barely saving that round and take it to 14 11. That was, that was honestly too close for comfort. Truly was on him as well. <laughs> that was damn close. Um, not sure if MTW were pleased that they got that round. You know, obviously overall they'll be happy, but yeah. when it comes down to that kind of stuff, we're just like, oh no. Anyway, uh, 14 to 11, the comeback is real. As we said, we've seen bigger turnarounds. You could argue it's a CT-sided map to an extent, but let's see what they can do here. We are seeing the Stavros running with the orb, yeah, I think? Yeah, he's going for the long pick here. Let's see if he's going to get it. He might be able to Ooh. catch the peak, but no! Mantis claims it first. Steve finds Trubly. Mantis gets the follow-up, and this has just decimated PKD. They didn't even get to execute. The one pick at long pretty much destroyed it already, and now next and Strux, near on impossible situation, but they're still going to try and get through this. And Strux eventually has to get one right there, and, and now we'll respond though in middle, and Strux picking up a second. He's got three more men to go through though, and... That almost seemed like a little bit of a desperation move. Just the fact of, well, we haven't tried rushing this just yet. Maybe we can get a peek and uh, get a kill. And unfortunately, it cost some three people there. And looking for Strux. He does have the bomb, though. But he's got no clear sight to push to. And he's got so many angles to cover. And 50 seconds on the clock. The chances of saving this are going to be very, very slim here. MTW definitely going to hump this down if they have the opportunity to. Let's see. Taking his time, slowly pushing towards long A. As you can see on the screen, Crowder, Steve, both holding from CT spawn, NK holding B. And Chuck's got 30 seconds left. I I, I feel like he's actually not going to go for it. Maybe push out, maybe get a kill and just try to keep the op alive. 20 seconds to go. Why do I keep hitting the space bar? I don't know, but... To be able to get the plant in there? I mean, I guess he's trying to go for it. Smoke's going to be coming in. Flash as well. He might get the cross here. Crowder going to be looking for the peak. That's a bad smoke, and... Now will be Strux getting domed in the head. Now 14 to 12 here. Planet Key not sitting too pretty with money. They obviously will be able to buy up here. But this is getting really too close for comfort. I mean, you always talk about, is it the 15th round that's hardest to get or the game winning round for number 16 that's the hardest? <laughs> and as you're seeing, PKD are struggling to get number 15. Yeah, they really are. And not a great buy up. You can see a little bit of lack of, you know, smokes and flashes to some. A Galil there as well, so maybe not the best buy up, but at least they've got something to try it out with. But Crowder feeling confident now. Gonna peek towards Lurby. Tunnels flash comes oh in. CLY dispatches of him swiftly. And now 5v4 in favor to the T side, finally getting an advantage. But can they make it count? That's what I want to see here. A full executed round without them being caught out. But Steen now backs away from Shaw. He He's got a good idea now. The flash does come in. He drops CT. Flash out. Holds him back. Buys a little bit of time. Nick's still battling with those double doors. And I think that's m &L on the other side. But one minute left. Will they still hit short? And we're going to have to find out because Mantis just locked down long. The short play is coming in. Mantis watching them push through. It doesn't matter. Strux comes in with a kill. And now 4v3. Stee, NKJ, and m &L to hold on. Stee is still at long. The bomb is down and ticking. There's a player locking down Stee, though. He can't really peek. And I think he knows that. And now it's going to be down to the others to make the comeback real. NKJ and m &L to try and retake the site. Steve's done the job. Anyway, he found Nex, and now it's CLY and Strux. Strux still fighting. They've got the kills, but can they take down C, the last man alive? Yes, they can, and they finally get onto that 15th round. Finally, after, well, as you can see, the last four rounds didn't go their way. And right now, obviously, they're going to be up against a team who can buy up. 
I mean, they, they kind of have to. Anything you can possibly get right now. They're actually going to invest a uh, op in the hands of Crowter here. And he's been doing, you know, fairly well. I, I still want to see him pick up a couple more kills. Like, I feel like he's he's not getting any early picks with the op that much. As you not saw really. when he pushed middle. You know, he got taken down by CLY and it cost him the op there. And, man, this is going to be his chance right here. As you can see, going to be one man off in middle. CLY pushing through lower yet again here. But, again, a very crucial round here. You want to start the best three with the win. You want to go over to Nuke. Don't you pick up that CT side right away. Take a nice easy 2-0 here. But Crouch are getting taken out through the smoke by CLY right there. Uh, almost certainly has sealed the fate, but honestly. Mino, Mantis, Steve, and NK can't pull this one back. And Pike are respecting that. They're, they're not rushing any site just yet. Honestly, working on the time. 55 seconds left to go. And it looks like the push will come in on middle here and. Let's see what the flash is coming in. You can you can just tell. MNL, he, he realized this one's coming down soon. Him and NK trying to watch this if it happens. Savage still pushing up catwalk. They're running this one down to the to the to the end. There we go. Push coming in towards A. This little Freiburg smoke right there. Savage flashing back in as well. And you see Mantis on ramp with AWP. Misses the first shot. He can't afford to miss too many more. He will have Stavros up to the top side. Not sure where he was looking right there. And Trubb is securing a kill as well. It looks like this will finally be peak. Planet Key Dynamics picking up the first map. And NK fighting back. Gets one. Now NK the last man standing. And a one on four. And he will drop here. So PKD finally pick up the first map. And of course that means we will be going over to uh, Nuke, I believe it is, in just a few minutes. But again... <laughs> Really, really interesting game by both of them. Again, I think you put yeah. it out perfectly. It was like, MTW weren't really warmed up in that one. Mm. And then the final, like, halfway through after... Actually, I think, like, halfway through the second half, they finally got a little bit of mojo going. Yeah, obviously, CT side helped them a hell of a lot. But mm -hmm. just as individual players, you saw they were struggling quite badly on the T side to actually make anything happen. Right. You saw the dodgy retakes, everything like that going down. But then they got on the CT side. It started to smooth out. The initial retake mm -hmm. on B made me think this was going to be over very quickly. Um, when you saw them just piling back in, Crowder just going in with the AWP, and it was just a little bit off. But they yeah. seem to warm up. They seem to get really like comfortable in it. So I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what they can bring a little later on. But then again, this can spiral. So I worry going into the map like Nuke, where it's not exactly easy to be able to turn things around like they just did on Dust 2. So they need to come in ready and they need to come in pretty damn strong on this one i'm hoping they can actually do it but then again you look at the players who actually played well if you've got an AWP on point to lock down outside on t or ct it's a good person to have playing well and you know, they had a good couple of other players if they if they are playing well again on nuke it's not a bad position to be in mm. but i i still think planet key dynamics when they got that full execution on towards a for example like we saw in those final rounds i think they played it better to be honest yeah and I'm actually just looking at the uh, the, uh, the Vita order, at least, for this one. Mm -hmm. And I believe it was Cash first, Train, Inferno, then Season. I'm just thinking I'm just thinking about to Cash. I'm thinking of what, G3. I mean, obviously, Mouseworks isn't playing right now. But, you know, mm -hmm. Mouseworks proved that they can play Cash really well when they played against Virtus Pro and beat them. I think it was 16-12. Yeah. I'm assuming, you know, a lot of the other German teams can play that map uh, fairly well as on top of that. But, again, Nuke. I, I, I don't know. If it comes to execution, if we, if we look at which team overall executed better on Dust2... I, I, I don't really know which one I would say. I mean, and like you said, MTW had some really sketchy retakes. Planet Key had some eh, fairly okay takes. Well, I don't think we saw much of um, Planet Key Dynamics with the full execution because by the time we got to the match again, the full buy rounds against the buy round, it was almost over. Mm. They, they finally got the 15th round after a lot of, you know, ecos back and forwards and, and bits and pieces. True. But once they finally got on the buy round, um, I think they did pretty well. I think they had that nice execution going. They had good plays on towards A. Um, didn't see much else from that because, well, by the time they got on the T side, it was pretty much done and dusted. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they can bring here on Nuke because, you know, we've seen the Nuke can be turned around a little more these days. Maybe if you're just NIP, I don't know. But, you know, there's still opportunities on the T side. <laughs> um, looking forward to see if they can maybe find a little bit of that. Okay, well, I think we're going to a quick little break here where they do obviously take a you know quick five-minute breather, talk mm. things over before we get a nuke. But when we come yeah. back, it will be the second game. Planet Kid Dynamics currently leading 1-0 against MTW here. And we'll be back in just a few.